I'm Billy Oak, we and we are the Digi Dudes! And this week's episode is a Patreon-sponsored episode by our Patreon supporter, War. And, and it is, is about the dark ocean! It is the history of the dark ocean. We oh picked no, the topic. I'm falling into it! <laughs> so, we're going to be talking about the dark ocean itself, any other media references for it, and, and any... all about it that there might be. Yeah, like, like if like there's a character that like has something to do with it. Exactly. So the dark ocean itself is actually only referenced very little. There's not much information itself on the dark ocean and it is one of those topics that is talked about a lot in the Digimon fandom because it was an unanswered plot point in Digimon Zero 2. My also, favorite season of Digimon actually. My favorite is, is um this one adventure because there's Devimon. I thought your favorite season is uh, Frontier because of Loosemon. It's a time between those two. Oh, okay. My favorites are uh, um, my Digimon Frontier and then Digimon Adventure. Good seasons. All right. So let's talk about what the Dark Ocean is itself. Like, what it's, is the Dark Ocean? It's basically an ocean that whatever good Digimon walks into it turns evil and corrupted. Kind of. You're you're along the right lines, but not exactly where Daddy was going with this here. So the Dark Ocean itself is actually a separate dimension. In Digimon, they reference it as its own separate dimension. So there's the real world, the digital world, and then the Dark Ocean as its own third. Outside of both of them, actually. And in the anime, um, Kari is led to the Dark Ocean from all the sorrow and sadness in her. From losing Wizardmon, um, what's been happening with the Dark Emperor, and all the good Digimon being forced into slavery and being turned evil. And it leads her and she's drawn to the Dark Ocean is what's happening there. In the Dark Ocean, there's some shadowy figures that are talking to her and trying to convince her to stay, is what it is. In the Japanese, it's a little different than the English dub on what they're telling her and what they're saying. In the English dub, they're trying to bring her to the Dark Ocean and tell her that they want her to be their queen and to take down their master. And replace him. In the Japanese version, they want her to marry her. They want her to be her bride, they said, and to take down their dark god. In both references, the master and the god they're talking about is Dragomon. Dragomon is a Digimon that was the first appeared in the Deep Savers Pendulum Who's version Dragomon? too. You've seen Dragomon before. Daddy's raised him before. He's kind of like that. Kind of. He looks like Cthulhu. Is what he's actually based off of. What is Cthulhu? He's a monster. He's um the kind of like squid looking mon, big um perfect level squid looking, uh Digimon with a trident. Oh. You know what I'm talking about, yo. Yep. Oh, and the reason he's the squid is because he lives in the dark ocean and well, he's a type a, of ocean. He's an aqua, he's a water type Digimon, but he's based off of a mythological monster called a Cthulhu, which is has like a squid face there. Oh. Yep. And in both versions, Kari turns them down and leaves. In the English version, they say the I guess they're going to go back to their master and they show a silhouette of Dragomon at the end. And then in the Japanese version, they say that they got a, they're stuck with their god is what they say. I guess we're stuck with our god. And then it shows the silhouette of Dragomon there. In the end, that's pretty much the only real episode or any real media dedicated to the Dark Ocean itself. Later on in the anime, in a flashback, you learn that after Ken, or the Digital Emperor there, or the Digimon Emperor, I mean, after his brother dies, he's so upset, 
He's led to the Dark Ocean. And he dips his regular D2 Digivice into the Dark Ocean. And that's where it morphs into the Black D3 Digivice. And where he first starts having those evil tendencies and becomes the Digimon Emperor. That's like the moment it clicks with him. And he turns into the Digimon Emperor, really. Oh. And then from there... The only other time you see the Dark Ocean is when they're fighting Demon, or it referred in the English anime as Daemon. But that's kind of weird. I know. When they're fighting him, Ken opens up a portal to the Dark Ocean, and they are able to send Demon through it into the Dark Ocean. Which then, in the Japanese one, he references the Dark Ocean and says he knows what this is already. And that they do say that it's not, in both versions, they say he's not go. they didn't send him to the digital world. They sent him to the Dark Ocean. Now that's the only real media we have from it, from the anime point of view of it. But there are more, probably. Yes, there is more references in general to the Dark Ocean from there. So in the, oh, and then when Kari's there, the reason that like it snaps her out of it, out of like, she's kind of in a trance there as she's being lured to the dark ocean is because Tailmon shows up and then starts to fight those fat shadowy figures and kind of snaps her out of it. But in some more Digimon lore outside of the animes, it's said that certain Digimon have fall, angel Digimon have fallen into the dark ocean and come and become corrupted. Devamon, for instance, yes. is one of those Digimon. It says that Anjumon was lured to the dark ocean and once falling into the dark ocean, it become corrupted and became the very first Devamon. And also, well, um, we actually talked about that in the Devil One episode, so if you want to learn more about that, go check that out. Absolutely, I'll put it at the end of this one, the History of Devilmon episode we did. Another Digimon that was lured to the Dark Ocean, and actually wasn't lured to the Dark Ocean, fell into the Dark Ocean, was Seraphimon. And then he actually becomes the first Demon then, or Daemon since we're talking about the anime dubs here. He becomes the first demon, and which is actually a Seraphimon that fell into the dark ocean. What is this? And that's probably again? is he like the bunny? No, no, Seraphimon is um Potamon's fully ultimate form there, or mega for oh, the dub fans. Yeah. You know the big armored angel? Yeah. Yeah. That's Seraphimon. And that's probably why in the Japanese anime. That Demon says he knows what the Dark Ocean is. It's probably because it's a reference back to his original VPAT bio saying that. Now that's only that's all the information that we really have on the Dark Ocean itself. And any official Dark Ocean references there. But the Dark Ocean was originally supposed to be a plot point that was going to be brought in later into Digimon Zero Two, but they just didn't have time. Because one of the reasons why a lot of people don't like Zero Two is because they put out a lot of different plots, and, and then they don't finish them off. Was it, was it the one that, like, they had, like, Usman being, like, way more, way weak than he actually is? That is a completely different one. That is Digimon Cross Wars, or Digimon oh. Fusion. For the dub, but so I, what it was called. But, but still, because of that, I, I don't really feel like I would like it. <laughs> Not really a big fan of it because of that. Yeah, I understand, Debbie, dude. But there's been a lot of theories on what is what would have been for the Dark Ocean there and where it would have tied. And it definitely would have introduced Dragomon as a larger villain. Because Dragomon is the only Digimon that's officially canon that lives in in the dark ocean itself and is also known as the master slash god of the dark ocean in dragomon's official bio it does refer to him as a ancient god digimon and again he's the god of in the japanese version of the anime he's the god of the dark ocean and in the english version he's the master of the dark ocean Okay, maybe a king. 
Or, yep. Some type of, he's definitely a ruler no matter what, Debbie Dude of the Dark yes. Ocean there. Like any type of ruler, he's probably that. And Dragomon has always been known as a very powerful aquatic Digimon. Oh, definitely. And it makes sense because he's also a very evil one. And going back to his idea of him being based off of Cthulhu, which is also a very powerful cosmic being in its own lore. Daddy? Yes. Um, who do you think would win in a battle? Um, Madragomon or Demon? Ooh, definitely Demon. Definitely Demon, in my opinion. You know what? Let's hear from you guys down in the comments. Let us know who would win in a battle Demon or Dragomon? Oh, I forgot something. Demon Rage Mode. Demon Rage Mode? Yes. Oh, hands down. Demon Rage Mode. There. All right, guys. You heard it. Let us know in the comments who would win. Do you want Rage Mode or Dragomon? <laughs> so, like we were saying, Dragomon is the ruler of the Dark Ocean, but there's been other Digimon that have been to the Dark Ocean, but there's no official other Digimon that are in it. And even in Dragomon's official bios and the Digimon handbook and everything, it doesn't actually reference the Dark Ocean there. It's only through other official media that it's been tied into the Dark Ocean. Also, um, my, another Digimon who, who got corrupted in the Dark Ocean was on, um, oh, um, Holy Anjuman? No. Ah! Uh, Are you talking about Lady Anjuman? Oh, uh, yes! Into Lady, Lady Devamon. Yes. Uh, most of the time we hear the Dark Ocean outside of the animes, it's different uh, angelic Digimon falling into it and becoming dark and corrupted versions or fallen angel Digimon as they're known as. Like Devamon, like Lady Devamon, and so forth. And, and Demon. Mm -hmm. Now the Dark Ocean itself, one of the theories about it is that it is a place of sorrow and depression. It's been brought up a lot in the Digimon fandom and community there, that the Dark Ocean itself in those episodes are supposed to be a Digimon addressing depression itself and different thoughts and um, related, different thoughts and feelings towards depression. Yes, Debbie Dude. Was Dragomon just like the leader from the very start? Or did he like get corrupted? Dragomon has always been a evil Digimon, evil aquatic Digimon. And in the anime, he's just referenced. He's not even fully shown. It's just a shadowy figure of him as the episode is ending. But in the English version at the very end, they did say by a narration that was find out who this mysterious shadowy figure is and stay tuned for the next episode of Digimon to find out which again, it was never brought up ever again after that point. Which Zero Two has a lot of that throughout the anime. There isn't it is like a problem with the anime itself for that. But overall, I do think it was a really great idea, and I would love to see the Dark Ocean expand upon more in other future um, Digimon animes or games, for instance. Me too, and Daddy. Yes. Who is the strongest angel Digimon in existence? The strongest angel Digimon in existence? I want to say it's Seraphimon. There might be someone a bit stronger than Seraphimon, but Seraphimon and Ophanimon and Cherubimon are always known as the three holy Digimon and like the top of like the angel Digimon hierarchy. Because that is I a whole say, nother that is a whole nother topic, Debbie well, Dude. Well, the reason I ask was because um I actually wanted to actually kind of find out like who would that turn into. But oh, still, almost I'll tell you real all quick. All three of them. It's Rafimon becomes Demon. Andrew, I mean, Ophanimon becomes Lilithmon, and. Uh, who, Trubimon, Holy Mode turns into, um, virus type. 
is what it is. The purple version. Oh, I, That's I who do they all remember. Are. But this that. is a whole nother topic that we do that we can cover in another episode. If you guys want to have that, um, let me know by hitting that like button down there. Yes, and yes, please. in the comments there, if you guys want to see a video on the history of the angel hierarchy in Digimon, because there absolutely is one. There's definitely a top level for angels and a bottom level for angels also, there. Please. Please, at some point I want to do a history on this one. I'm the <laughs> Well, with that, talking about the Dark Ocean now, covering all the most, almost okay. all the theories, everything we know about it now, let's get into a sticker this week. And this week's sticker, we picked Tailmon because we was real fitting with the Dark Ocean and Kari. Hey, if we had another... Fallen Angel Digimon, that would fit much more. We don't actually have any other Fallen Angel Digimon stickers right now. We've got... We've got we've lots got, of we stickers. We've got Devilmon. No, no, we've got... Whatever this guy actually, is. Actually, that's, that's Barbamon. <laughs> let's put Tailmon down here. And that way, it's next to Black Tailmon and Wormmon. Because, again, talking about the Dark Ocean, we talked about Ken... And him being corrupted by the Dark Ocean and turning his Digivice from a regular classic D2 into a the D3. coolest Digivice in my personal opinion. The black D3 is my hands down favorite Digivice out of everyone out there. I think and that would be mine too. up there with one of the Digivices I want the most. It's definitely the number one Digivice. I want the Japanese... Black D3. I think I'm it's okay amazing an and English I will one. love it. I'm okay with an English one, but still, I want <laughs> <have> like two. <laughs> All right, guys. If you like this English. content, if you like what we do here, and you guys love Digimon as much as we do, make sure you giga blast that like button. And touch your people that subscribe on down below. I got my words mixed up there. <laughs> Thank you to everybody who likes, comments, subscribes and watches you're all amazing thanks special thank you to our amazing patreon supporters over here without you guys the channel would not be able to continue to grow as it has been and bringing you new devices and things to unbox for you again special thank you to our patreon supporter war for picking this week's episode if you guys want to know how to pick an episode Go check out our Patreon. Link is down in the description there. And as always, from me, my family, to, to you, you, have a fantastic day! day!